Metamorphosis is the perfect description of this project. Right now we're working on moulds to then go onto the fully fledged monolage. In fact we've gone from tools to moulds and then onto the monolage. Which is metamorphosis, industrial metamorphosis. Infusing components to the standards required of aircraft is not easy. It takes tight control of process, materials and tooling. It's this level of quality that the team down at DC2 have been developing and refining. So now we've sorted the vacuum problem, we changed the resin, get the viscosity right. Um, we've changed the cloth from a, a biaxial to a triaxial to give us a better flow through. Um, so yeah, we've been working hard and learning lots and uh, now it's all coming together. It's all coming together. I wanted to quickly show you guys how infusing works because we haven't really gone over that before. So I'm here today with Ed and he's going to show us how infusing works. We've set up a bit of a demonstration model for you so you get to see exactly what it is like in real life. So yeah, let's see what that looks like. We have this demonstration set up here. Uh, we've laid up carbon fiber mat on, onto the demonstration tool. The, over that is then peel ply, then the blue release film, and then on top of that, something we call flow mesh. That, that one here. We've then applied a vacuum bag, got a good solid vac on this, and now if we were to infuse this for real, We'd connect this line here to, uh, to the resin feed, open up this tap, and that would then allow the resin to draw through here onto that material, and then it would spread across the flow mesh and flow through the job until it reached the vacuum point at the other end, and that would be it. Then we'd have infused the part. Simple as that. Infusion hasn't been around as long as you might think. This thing here, or the technology that created this thing here, has only been in use since 1959 when it was first filed for use to make a swimming pool. Yeah, a swimming pool, nothing too crazy. But it was a start and into the 80s it then went into things like car manufacturing and then to where it is most commonly used today, boat building. That's a little bit of a fact for you about where this whole process came from. Remember what I said about metamorphosis? Well, we have come to the next stage of metamorphosis. The two molds have been put together. It's pretty cool, I've got to show you this. We infused both of these last week, um, stripped them off yesterday and this morning, um, and trimmed them, and now we're uh, starting to assemble. So you can see um, it's just disappeared, but we're, we've, we've got it clamped together, drilling it off, um, and if you wander around, look on the other side, you'll see the finish is amazing on the front. On that. It's starting to look massive again, and then when we saw it yesterday it, lying on its yeah, side, it's on it, looks side it looks very small. It's looking looking like a big girl again. And now, you, well, just standing at the side of it, you can see yeah. that you get the sense of scale. So this is the seal coat that you've got on the outside to it's make a sure seal that coat to draw to, a vacuum. Yeah, yeah. To, to just, it's, it's, it's like a, a belt and braces thing, just yeah. to make sure that it doesn't leak when we vacuum it. Let's have a, have a look at the surface finish inside. So as you can see, like, well you can see the finish on the pattern over there and uh, yeah. that's what you've got now it's on the inside of here. It look really nicely, isn't it? It looks cavernous in there. <laughs> it does, yeah. It's, um, it's, now it's together, it's quite, it's pretty big. She's <laughs> a big girl. Um, we've got the base ready for this um, and the kits are cooked for the base. Um, the top is over in DC2. Uh, being worked on at the moment, having all the templates made for the kit. And have we got the nose wheel pattern done there? The nose wheel um, mould was infused this morning, so that will be ready to go tomorrow. 
Um, so Full set then? So I hope by the end of this week, we should be all bolted together, trimmed, um, checked, post-cure it over the weekend and ready to start making a fuselage and, next week. And touch wood, those joints have come together really nicely as well, haven't they? Yeah, they look really good and as long as all the others are there. Any difficulty sealing. And these, these look pretty, pretty yeah. true. Mind you, we'll know, we'll know by the end of today, tomorrow, won't we? <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, today, tomorrow, we'll, we should have the top and the bottom in. I mean, to the bottom, which is over there, is, is going in later. And you've got, you've got that kitted, haven't you? That is kitted. Um, so the first two plies, are, we've tempered it, the first two plies are made. Uh, just to give you an idea, this is the uh, which will go. Like so. So the first ply is at 45. Yeah. Um, herring bone down the centre. Um, and then there'll be a Nort 90 go on after that, and then some reinforcings. Nice. Nice. And the surface finish on those, it looks like you know you're a high build primer on that, and that'd paint up lovely as it is. Yeah, I think it should. I, it should come out looking really nice. Yeah. It should. I mean, you should have. That's the finish you should have on the on the, on the part when it comes part. out of the mould. So yeah, we're, we're quite happy with that. Like I say, the lads have done a massive job on uh, making those patterns that shine. Yeah. So. No, it's amazing. Fantastic. Roll on Friday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.